Hey, this is Adam uh, with Lizard Wraps. Just want to show you a couple tricks today with Flexi Pro uh, for some outlining and some shadowing. Uh, right now, we're just going to type in a word. And we're going to change the font. Pretty easy. Just click on it. I'm going to go up. And we're going to find the font we want. It, uh, we'll use Impact. Okay. Now, anytime you're going to do any type of outlining, if it's in color, contour cutting is a different story, but we're going to talk about color today with this. I'm going to use the left button on the mouse. I'm going to hit it three times. Right, and I'm going to open up the tracking. Okay, you could do this with Design Central also. I just like to do it this way. I'm going to spread the letters apart a little bit. I'm going to give it a little bit of room. So when we outline it, this color. Okay. And then we're going to use the outline tool here. See how close they are right in here and here they're almost touching. You can go up in here with the outline or what you can do is you can grab this little node right here and you can move it. Okay. Uh, let me show you how I do it. Let's bring it in. Now there's a check mark here. Uh, and keep original. If you don't keep original, what's going to happen is whatever color you have here, the whole thing's going to change. So make sure you keep original like that. Okay. And we're going to keep that outline like that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the shadow tool. Okay. I'm going to hit the shadow. Now you can move the shadow around to anywhere you want. You can make it as big as you want also. You can make it transparent. I'll show you that in a minute. But here I'm going to put some black on it also. Okay. Alright. So now we have our lettering. And we're going to put a contour cut around it if we want to cut it out. So we're going to FX. And we're going to go to contour cut. I change this to red so I can see it. Right here you have a little node also. If you want to go in or out with the contour cut depending on what you want to cut it, you want to leave some white around it after you print it, you can do that. Instead of doing a shadow with white, you can just expand the outline. Or uh, what we do here is we use it at zero. If you leave it at zero with the holes, it'll cut the holes out in the middle. Okay, now, there's a couple tricks with this. Okay, see, if you look really closely here, it's going to cut right here, right on the money. Okay. Now, depending on what plotter you have, how good it is, we use the value jet plotter here, it's pretty good. But there are other plotters that sometimes they off track. So I'm going to show you how to get around that. Okay. There's a couple different ways. You can take the contour cut. Okay, we're going to clear the contour cut. We're going to put a new contour cut on it. Effects, contour cut, and then we'll do it minus one. We'll come in a little bit. Now if we do that, you'll see it's going to cut just on the inside, okay? Now, if you have a specific size that you need with the black outline, okay, let's just say this one here has to be exactly uh, 3 by 36. And we want the contour cut to be right on it. And we're afraid in the machine that it's going to slip off. It's going to move. And we're going to get some white in it. Or it's going to move in. This is how we do it here. Is you're going to go effects. Contour cut. Contour cut it at zero. Okay. Zero with the holes, okay? Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, highlight everything, and we're going to go to Effects. Actually, we're going to go to Edit, and we're going to separate the contour cut. Okay? And the contour cut is still there. Okay? But now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, that's all grouped together, and we're going to outline it again. We're going to give it more outline. 
right here in the same color in the black okay so now what's going to happen is it's going to print this image with extra black around it so when it's contour cutting it's going to contour cut inside it's a pretty easy trick we do it all the time here just to make sure it cuts right on the money okay customer will never know you'll just have a little bit of excess black that you'll weed off of it and you won't have any problems if you do it that way okay that's a pretty good trick we have here all right um, when you go to contour cut it I'm going to send it right here this is the rip and print we're going to send it right to the production manager okay in here this is a MUTO machine uh, 1624 okay we're going to cut we want to cut four of these okay now if you go into your production manager into your contour cut screen okay we're obviously we're going to cut it as separate jobs because I don't use a rolling machine or a print and cut machine if you do what happens is it'll print come out go back in and cut you can do that then you'll print them that way um, you could do contour cut only uh, I do here as separate jobs okay and then in the MUTO this is four point positioning okay we never use this four point we use MUTO segmented positioning or segmented contour cutting this one here is the best one that we use okay what will happen is when you do this it'll reach these two marks it'll go up to these two marks check these come back they'll check them again and then it'll contour cut up until you get to here then the machine will stop and it'll recheck it okay once it rechecks it that means you know it's aligned and you know your contour cuts are good if you do it this way here it's gonna check here here and here most of the time it will be right on the money but if you want to be a hundred percent sure you'll change this down to here, move to segment and cutting, and then just send it, and that's it. Pretty easy. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if anybody has any questions or wants me to put up any type of videos, I'll be more than happy to put them up. They're always free. So, uh, like I said, I've been with using uh, Flexi Sign Pro since '99 when it was uh, different. It, at that time. Uh, it was used as Inspire, which is Inspire here. Um, you can also switch to the default. If you switch in the default here, it just moves things around. You can move them to wherever you want. Okay, or you can actually go into the toolbar and make new ones. It's up to you, okay? Thanks for watching.